Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Just kidding. Let's go ahead and talk about green tops, you guys. Green tops. They're actually my favorite, okay? Kind of. Let me just talk about it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Yadira, and consider to subscribe if you, if you want to learn the order of draw, okay? Because this playlist is going to talk about all of these, and it's going to help you, I know. But in this case, we're going to talk about green tops. And if you already subscribed, welcome back. I love you guys, and... Green tops, as you can see, it goes right after SSTs, okay? So when you work in the ER, for sure, you're going to draw blue cultures first, blue tops, red tops, SSTs, and then the green, okay? The green. So the green, it's number, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five in the order of draw for a reason, okay? I'm going to say this in all of my videos because I want you guys to memorize this, okay? So... The, it's number five for a reason because it has an additive in it okay this is a green top you can hardly tell but trust me the additive is in there okay sometimes it's like it looks like it's frayed on the tube for some reason but this is a great example that it's there okay this is the actual blue top so this additive is more more noticeable but i want you to look at it okay so it has an additive in it even if you can tell it does Sorry, since we're talking about greens, it does have an additive, okay? And greens are very, very loved by hospitals because they work exactly like the SSTs, okay? They're almost like brothers. The only difference is that hospitals love greens because they could do the same tests for both of them, but they love the green because guess what? You don't have to wait for it to clot, okay? That additive that it has inside makes it ready to be centrifuge and get results ASAP, much faster, okay? As you can see, I hope you can see, they have most of the same tests. But the only difference is that SSTs have those special tests that require only SSTs, okay? But most of them could be shared. So... For these chemistry tests, chemistry, chemistry, all of these, you could either draw a green or a gold. But in hospitals, again, I repeat, they are normally stat. They want results as soon as possible. Why? Because they're at their hospital. They might have a critical condition. So we always draw light green, by the way, because there is a dark green. But this is actually light green, okay? So you have to make sure you know the difference. And... This one, I'm telling you, you draw it, you spin it down right away. The CLS will be the happiest person ever because they grab it right away, run the test, get results automatically faster, okay? If you use this one, it's still okay, but it will take a lot longer because if you haven't watched my other video about ISTs, these, you have to wait 30 minutes for it to clot before you actually spin it down and then run the test so green tops we go to chemistry chemistry always okay a uh, green top will never go to hematology okay so the reason why you need to know this is because if you work at a hospital you need to grab all of your green tops and take them to where to chemistry okay that's part of your job to process specimens okay so you still have to go draw, of course, but you once you get to the lavatory, you need to do your part, okay? So receive the specimens in the lavatory, whatever you have to do. And then you have to take them all and take them to the right department. In this case, green tops go to chemistry. I promise you, it seems like a lot of information, but you will memorize all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this closer for you guys. So these are the most common tests for green tops, since we're talking about green tops in this video, okay? Basic metabolic panel, okay? So that one is similar to this one. The only difference is that this panel has way more tests, okay? But this is your basic metabolic panel, all right? And then we have the very common that's called comprehensive metabolic panel. That's very, very common, okay, for greens. This is uh, if you work at a hospital.
because since you don't have to wait for the tube to clot, this one, you don't have to wait. You just spin it down, you get results faster. Just keep in mind that, of course, they also order these tests in an outpatient lab and they might ask you to do SSTs. It's more common, okay? I just want to keep that in mind, please. Keep that in mind. Okay, so let's move on. Another very common is TSH. Very common, you guys. Very common. T3, T4, free. Absolutely. That's very common. Phosphorus, mag, CK. Very common. The reason why I want to show you this one also is because it... This might vary based on hospital or workplace, but in, in this case, sometimes you might have to draw a green for ammonia, okay? So it has to be on eyes, you cannot forget that. But these are the most common tests, and I want you guys to memorize this because it's very, very good for your, your phlebotomy interview, okay? Or even for your national exam, that's for your license exam, because they might not ask you this, but some do because I have the total of five interviews and some of my interviews were very, very cool. Like they talk to you like if you're friends, you know, it was really smooth, not as hard as I would have thought. And other interviews were very, very hard. Like they would ask you trick questions. Like what's the difference between serum and plasma? Plasma is EDTA mostly. Okay, and serum is, these are the only tubes that give you serum, which is your red and your SST. So those are the type of questions they might ask you, or they might do like a trick question. That's why it's really good to know this. Uh, they might say, if the doctor orders the CPC and a pro time, what color tube do you draw first? And your answer is always blue because I already memorized this. But pro time, you see, blue, and then the next one, if you memorize this. But keep in mind, once you get hired, most people or workplace will tell you what to draw. So don't even stress about it. Sometimes it's on the label, it'll tell you what color. Or sometimes they have websites that you could easily just search the requirements. So don't even stress. Just memorize all of this for school and for your license and interview. Once you're in, once you put your foot on the door, you're good. So they might ask you, if doctor orders a CVC and a pro time, what will you draw first? Pro time, which is a blue top. Blue, pro time is right here. So it would be blue and then your CVC will... Oh, actually, let's go ahead and talk about the lavenders. Okay, we cannot forget about lavenders. Okay, go ahead and click on this video. And see you there. And see you there. And see you there.